Well, now that the water is back, how about we head back to Naughty's Lair in order to get our prize? And by the way, yes, I took out a dragonfly off screen. So sad I didn't get to show it to you. It was so thrilling, though. It was a battle that raged on for hours, and then, nah. I beat it in three seconds flat. Just kidding. Anyway, we got our Jiggy, so let's see if there's anything else here. Oh, a couple notes. Good thing I checked. Yeah, I can't stress this enough. It's really, really important to check in every remote corner of every little area in these late worlds. Because otherwise... <coughs> sorry about that. If you, uh, if you end up with, like, 98 notes or something, then... Um, Looking, th looking at game facts won't be of too much help because of just, you know, how many locations those, uh, those notes are in, and uh, it's hard to remember. Did I check this one? Did I check that one? So you gotta check every single one anyway, which uh, really doesn't do much for you. So, um, is there anything up here? We got a caterpillar, and look at that! Gobi's still here, chilling around. Well, let's do something about it, okay? And with that water, the flower is finally going to complete its growth cycle, and we are going to get a Jiggy for it! Now, this Jiggy is rather hard to get by just climbing the plant. The best way is to just fall from above. And Gobi says he's off to the lava world. It turned out to be Hailfire Peaks and Banjo 2, I guess, the reason why they didn't explicitly mention the name is because, well, they, uh... They didn't know what it would be called, they just knew that there would be a lava world in Banjo-Tooie. Uh, especially since there was no lava world in this game, in case you've noticed. So, y yes please, I'm gonna take that golden feather. I'm already down to 12, and uh, we're not done with Click Clock Wood, so... Yeah, better g better grab those uh, as many of those gold feathers as you can. So, now we're back with these uh, waiting boots in the fall. Let's check uh, out uh, Mumbo's Skull. There's not going to be any transformations, as was the case in summer, because he's too busy um, <laughs> cleaning up that mess so many leaves. And there's even a caterpillar. I, I, guess, I, I guess I just got lucky that uh, he hadn't thrown that out yet, but... Uh, Okay, um, by the way, so, something someone pointed out in the last video. Uh, how can Mumbo get a suntan if uh, there appear to be no windows in, in, in this house or anything like that? And I, I, could, I could also complete that uh, question by saying, how did all those leaves get in there? Since, well, as I said, there's really no way these would get in other than the front entrance. I mean, that was a lot of leaves! Uh, anyway, I believe we are done with the lower area, so we can now start uh, climbing the tree once again. I wonder if there's anything over there to the right. Let's just kill this first. Yeah, is there... is there anything? Oh, there's a mumbo token, okay. This is a bit harder than uh, in the summer. Oh, ho, ho! close call there. But yeah, it's a bit harder than in the summer because those leaves are a bit smaller than they were back then. But it um, wasn't much of a problem. I'm not even going to bother continuing in my way of that because um, I know that there is absolutely nothing there. Uh, another caterpillar. That is nine. And over there... Oh, wow! Mumbo token! Yeah, I was looking just to check if there were any draw distance shenanigans, and good thing I did, because there, there was a mumbo token right over there. And now we're only missing two in the fall. And, um, yeah, just be careful not to fall off. We're not ready to fall off yet. The plant is all the way over there. And just try, try, trying to avoid the, that man-eating plant as, be as best as you can. Because, as, as I said before, these get bigger with each season, and uh, it's particularly noticeable now that it takes up all the room that it can possibly take. Anyway, we have our little beehive here, and whoa! Caterpillar! Well, now we got enough caterpillar to feed Irie again. I'm just gonna check down there, see if there's anything of note. There's... <laughs> no pun intended! I... I... 
definitely didn't realize that uh, I was making that kind of fun. But yeah, we got a few notes as well as a caterpillar, which is now completely useless. So, um, I guess now that we've checked this out, I guess we can fall down and uh, get uh, the get the jiggy that uh, appeared on top of the plant. Man, I can't see anything. Well, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to do it blind and. Phew! Okay, we're close enough. So, um, yeah, I, I knew that the beehive was uh, right above the plant, but I didn't know exactly which way to jump, and if I chose the other way, well, uh, that, uh, that, that would have been quite an epic fail. Anyway, let's make our way back up to uh, where the beehive was. Uh, I might as well mention, I believe that it's possible to um, actually get the jiggy uh, while just climbing the plant, but um, I don't know because I haven't even attempted it in so long because I know that the falling down from the beehive is just a much more reliable way of getting it than, uh, you know, trying to climb that plant, especially with all those leaves and stuff getting in the way. Anyway, let's keep going up, and we're gonna have to do more of these jumps. I'm getting used to it by now. It's not near... Eh, it's not nearly as hard as it seems at this point. Oh! Mumbo Token! Let's head over to get it, and, um... You can just go to hell with that extra life. I'm not even gonna go for it. I'm maxed out anyway. Uh, now, as for the tree house, I believe there's nothing in there since I already got the... I already got the... Jiggy in summer, and there was also a mumbo token in it. Uh, in spring, I believe, right, uh, uh, in that area. Caterpillar number 12, thanks, but completely useless. Now, let's keep going. Just because there are, ma there are many more wooden planks than in the previous seasons doesn't mean we have to not be careful and fall off. Ha ha! Wow, that was a long fall. Did you hear that? It, it was it was like a few seconds after I knocked it out, so I'm glad I I'm glad it wasn't me. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? Yeah, there are a bunch of acorns in this area. Let's check out inside the Nabnut's house first. I right hear a caterpillar. So many caterpillars. Unbelievable. And there is... Yeah, as I thought, there was an acorn there. So that means that it's in winter that the last secret egg is. Um, but yeah, he's asking for six acorns. Uh, now, I, I'm, I'm completely going to overlook the fact that... Excuse me! That he already had one of these in his house, and rather, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to focus on the fact that he needs exactly six acorns. Either he really intends to go on a diet this winter by only eating six acorns throughout the entire winter, or he's already got a huge stash. Whoa! That is a pretty tricky acorn to get, in all honesty. You really have to be careful not to fall off all the way to the bottom. That would really, really be sad. But yeah, if he has such a huge stash of acorns, then what is six more or six left? That's just, you know, ridiculous. And yeah, let's give him the acorns. So that means there are three more to go. I believe there is one in the... Uh, what could be called his cellar, I guess. So let's head in there. See if there's an acorn. Probably, judging by the fact that this exists at all. Yeah, yeah. And we got a really wet acorn, too. I, I, don't, I don't eat acorns, so I don't know if it really uh, makes it uh, less compelling to eat. But I would imagine that uh, it would, because... Uh, soaking most any food in water is gonna make it a lot, a lot less appealing to eat. So, we got two more left. I know there's that one over in the, in the center of that, um, of that, you know, that ring of wooden planks, but the other one... Where could it be? Oh, well, let's just focus on this one for now, since this is one I know where it is. God, it almost seems like I'm going straight through that thing! This is where a top-down view would really be helpful. Uh, actually, this acorn placement sort of reminds me of that one uh, red uh, red coin in Bowser and the Fire Sea in, um, 
Mario 64 where I am... Um, where you're, where you, where it's like a hanging over the lava, and it's surrounded by a platform, like a, 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 a bit, a bit like this. Actually, you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, I think I figured out where the last acorn is. Let's just try and get this one and not screw up this time. Okay, good. Now let's just land on this. And then, let's head over there. Yeah, it's rather well hidden from uh, any other camera angle. No wonder I didn't, uh, didn't figure it out sooner. But uh, yeah, th this is one where you really want to have Kazooie uh, run there, because Banjo would just slide off and go all the way to the bottom. It's not like I speak from personal experience or anything. Okay, wait, I am. Sorry about that. Sorry about the lies and deceit. Now, as I said, we got even more of these guys uh, in the fall, so let's be really careful to not be tossed off the tree by these things. Only one left. Okay! Excellent! So, I guess up next... Oh, I was about to say up next is Irie, but first let's just slam this switch, which is going to open the final season in this area. Okay, now that this is done, let's feed our... Baby Eagle, and yes, remember how much time it took for five of these? Yeah, it's twice as long. BORING! By the way, look at that! He's got a freaking caterpillar on his nest! Why didn't he just go over there and eat it himself instead of making me, you know, wander all around to find them? But seriously, why didn't he just throw all ten caterpillars at once? That's what would happen in any other game. Instead, I'm just wasting my time seeing Banjo throw a bunch of caterpillars at an overgrown baby eagle. Thrilling action-packed gameplay there, Rare. Anyway, I believe... Okay, okay, I was sort of worried there because I only saw six notes in that uh, shot earlier on, but it's just, once again, this game's rather crappy draw distance when it comes to items like that. So yeah, we're up to 84, that means we got every note in, in the fall section, so let's just keep going up, and as you might notice, there are even more wooden planks than there used to be. Um, it's not nearly as nerve-wracking as in Spring, where you're, like, almost at the top, and then there are only a few of these. Last Mumbo Token, I believe. Um, okay, let's... Um, okay, that that was stupid. I admit it, I should have sacrificed one more Gold Feather to not get hit, but then again, it's only two damage, and this is... Uh, getting healed off rather quickly, no problem at all. So we're done with uh, the fall section of Click Clock Woods. Now, I have a question for you. What is the slowest, most painful way to die? If you answer life, you would be wrong, because the answer is the winter section of Click Clock Wood. You can, uh, you can fly around, which sort of removes all the platforming element that was present in the first three seasons. But the problem here, remember those snowmen in Freeze Easy Peak? Yep, they're all over the place again. So, yeah, I'm rather close to once so I really gotta keep moving so as to not get hit by a snowball. Oh! Free gold fe feather. I'm gonna take it, especially since it's ironically located inside. Uh, well, not exactly inside, but uh, uh, on top of a man-eating plant. The man-eating plants are also uh, no more of a threat now. They're all dead, since of course, well, it's winter. What do you expect? Uh, is there anything over there? Yeah, mumbo token. Awesome. But yeah, the flight pad that was protected by that man-eating plant all this time is now accessible since, well, as I said before, it's dead. So, we got a whole bunch of ice cubes and goblins and stuff. I'm gonna take care of this for now. Uh, I'm gonna keep, um, the, um, go the, the trip back to, uh, Naughty's Lair for the next video, since I don't think I have the time to head over there. I only have 30 seconds, so screw that. So I'm just going to find an area that's safe. I'm going to save there, and I will see you in the next episode.